All right, you're going to see problems like this that ask, do these shapes have rotational symmetry, or does this shape have a rotational symmetry? Uh, the way we figure this out is we ask ourselves, can I spin this shape around and have it look the same as it does now as I spin it? Watch the shape real carefully. I'm going to spin it around, and if I come right to there, it looks exactly the way that it started. And then right here, exactly the way it started. Right there, just the way it started. Here, here, we're back to the beginning. So yes, that shape does have rotational symmetry. The answer is yes on that one. Okay, how about this square? Does this one have rotational symmetry? Well, right there, it looks just the same as the way it started. Right there, just the same, just the same, and just the same as the way it started. So the answer to that one, is yes, it has rotational symmetry. How about this face right here? Does this have rotational symmetry? As I spin it around, you might be thinking, oh yeah, it's kind of the same. No, that's an upside down face. It doesn't look like a regular face like the way it started. As I come around, the only time it looks like a face is when it's in the original position. So the answer to this is no, it does not have rotational symmetry try this next one. How about this shape? Does this have rotational symmetry? Well, no, that doesn't look like it did. Well, that's kind of like, except it's pointing up, up in the opposite direction. It doesn't look exactly like that. It's got to look exactly the same. So the answer on this one is no. And our last shape. Okay, when you go here, the bottom is skinny and the top is fat. Here, the top is skinny and the bottom's fat. So this does not look exactly the same when I flip it upside down. The only time it looks like this is when it's in its original position. So that does not have rotational symmetry.